Hello everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. Here we are on board Carnival Triumph, which is soon to be Carnival Sunrise. Now I'm going to do one last walk around of the promenade deck, which is the main deck five. So the theater actually starts right at the front here on deck five, which is currently a three, deck three, four and five level theater. But of course for Sunrise, when it gets relaunched, the theater is only going to be level four and level five, so deck three is going to be gone completely. I see some people just moving in with their luggage right here, finding their rooms. Some contractors are here already. So this is the upstairs level at the very front of deck five, so there's no area, any, anywhere area forward of this. The stairs at the back there go to some uh, crew accommodation. So you're getting a last look at the theater. And we'll walk through here. This is actually the port side, so you get the ladies' bathrooms right here. So this will become liquid lounge in the changeover. So this is actually embarkation day on our last four day cruise. So, and as we come through here to the forward stairs, just point them out right there, the forward stairs and elevators right there. And then you can walk through here. You can see the fun shops on the right hand side. So not much is gonna change for the fun shops. They are gonna redo all the tiling and all the paneling of the lobby right here. That's gonna be a big deal. And then the, it's, the elevators are gonna get a bit of a retouch and new carpet and tiles. And then there's somebody on this sailing. One man, one guitar. The Rushlow. I'm not sure who that guy is, but he's on this sailing. So this is the main uh, promenade, uh, an, it's a grand atrium which is still very grand actually. We'll sort of have a look up here and you'll be able to see all the way up. It's probably a little bit too bright to see outside. But yeah, you can have a walk through here. Then you've got the Skybox sports bar which will remain as is through the remodeling. So this won't change. Now, as we walk around here, you'll see basically the window is displaying things for the shops. This is where one of the small changes or big changes are going to happen. They're going to basically extend Cherry on Top. So where you see Cherry on Top now, as it is. Somebody's already removing a tile. He's come all the way around the world to change one tile. How exciting. So yeah, so one of the changes is going to happen here. They're going to block this entrance off to the casino. And this will become the arcade right here. So there won't be a through fare to the traditional promenade deck that we're used to. So where we see all the way down the promenade deck right here, that'll be no longer. This will be the a video arcade in this front part of the casino. So as we swing around, you'll see Cherry on Top. So Cherry on Top will get extended as well and made quite a bit wider and bigger. Forward is that way. Forward's that way. Forward's that way. Which way forward? Forward west. <laughs> there we go. Confusing. So now this is going to be the new main entrance to the promenade deck right here. So they're going to basically widen this walkway right here as we see it going this to the back of the ship. So cherry on top will get extended over and then that there won't be a thoroughfare that we just sort of saw right there. So as we go through here, so what we know as the casino is still going to be of course as it is. But the layout's going to change quite dramatically. And then this will be a main walkway. So these casino slot machines won't be here. And then the walkway will bend around back to the promenade. So they're going to reconfigure the whole casino layout. It's actually a very big space. Uh, we won't sort of stop. We'll keep walking all the way through deck five because that's our main reason for the video. We won't sort of catch too much of the casino as it is because they're going to completely remodel it and it's going to be very different. So the walkway will kind of veer off to the left. We'll just walk over towards the casino bar here so you can get an idea. And this is going to change as well. This is the main casino bar that we know well if you've been on the Triumph already. So basically the walkway will come through the casino over here where we just walked through and then it'll join up then with the rest of the promenade and then the video arcade will be basically ahead of us over here on that left hand side. So the traditional walkway is no longer and that will be where the video arcade will be. So we'll just keep walking along, shall we? 
And this is where some more changes are gonna happen. See the casino bar right there. Let's keep going. We're actually in New Orleans today. This is our last four day cruise. So the internet cafe is gonna stay in this area, but there's gonna be quite a change because it's gonna get modified here with the Bonsai Sushi Express. And the internet cafe is this area as well. So this is where we're coming up to the coffee shop. So the coffee shop is gonna completely disappear from Promenade. So there won't be the coffee shop right here and the piano that's been here for so long. So this will end up becoming the Red Frog Pub. So basically all of this area is gonna get completely demolished. And then the Red Frog Pub will come right here in this space. And then the Java Blue Cafe will end up down on deck four, which is now where the library is. So not to confuse you too much, but if you're sort of following the rebuild of the ship, and then the arcade that's here at present is gonna be completely demolished. And also the nightclub is gone as well, Hollywood nightclub. So this will be the Red Frog Pub, sort of over, basically over here and here. There's a very big space and then Bonsai Sushi will come into this area of Bonsai Sushi Express. It's quite important. It's not the full Bonsai Sushi that you've seen on Horizon. It's gonna be a little bit more modified um, but it's going to fit nicely into the space. Alchemy Bar is going to stay as it is. And they're going to extend out the uh, seating here where there's this big open space. So you'll basically get an extended Alchemy Bar, especially more seating. It's a little bit confined as it is. And then, so this is sort of still where the Red Frog Pub will be. So uh, it'll become a very big open space. Uh, yeah. And then this is the other major changes. So from pretty much this doorway opening right here, it says Big Easy Venezia and Club Rio. So all three of these lounges are all gonna be demolished. And these will become deck five aft cabins. So roughly this threshold here that we're gonna walk over. And then uh, the piano bar will basically be completely removed. And then the cabins will then come around this corner right here. And then from this threshold where the elevators are is where the deck five cabins will come into place. So they'll basically, they'll floor over this uh, void to the dining room. And then all of this back part of the ship is completely gone. Now I know this seems very extreme, but this dry dock's got a huge undertaking. This is gonna be over $200 million, the cost of this remodeling. So that's the piano bar right there. And we'll actually kind of walk in through Club Rio, which is currently the comedy club. So imagine this is all going to be removed and ripped out and torn to pieces. And the back bar there and those nice windows for the uh, bar at the very back will be gone. And all of this stage area will be taken out and basically tore out completely. Now, the whole point of this video is to give you that extreme kind of feeling of what they're going to do here and how they're going to remove everything. And then this is a Venezia Lounge, which is kind of like a, they can do karaoke in here. They can have the band play in here. They're gonna have a soloist or a duo. So yeah, so I hope you've liked this walk around of the Carnival Triumph Promenade Deck, soon to be Carnival Sunrise. So this basically doorway here will be pretty much the separator of the cabins where the cabins will basically uh, start and go through this whole area right here. So yeah, then you can see downstairs the Paris dining room and that's gonna change over to the Radiance dining room. They're gonna name, sorry, this will be Sunrise dining room and there'll be Radiance dining room in the forward. So yeah, so let's have a walk back up along promenade again as far as we want. So yeah, I hope you've liked this walk around on board. If you haven't subscribed to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, it's very easy, click subscribe, click the notification bell of new videos if you want to be the first to see them. Alchemy looks so kind of modern on the ship uh, when you see it next to some of the older features. You've got to remember the Triumph is 20 years old now this year. So it was kind of ready for a remodel and a changeover. So this is kind of the perfect time, a 20th anniversary of that. So yeah, so this promenade deck, which has been so grand and opulent for so long, is gonna be completely demolished and gone. So uh, yeah, so we're looking, 
the kind of the the disco right here or nightclub or club they keep renaming the word of it so and then the liquid lounge at the front of the ship will become the new nightclub after the shows have concluded so yeah maybe you can give us a thumbs up for the video if you want to watch this at some point to get a bit of a reminiscent of the of the ship and a walk around and of course we're going to see a lot of videos once this is all fully changed and you'll be the first ones to see this so it's going to be super exciting so imagine no more coffee shop gone going to be torn out completely and all of this will be no longer and then the sushi bar will be here and a red frog pub so <laughs> And there we go. So we'll just come back towards the casino. We'll come back up to the atrium and then we'll finish out the video. So a little bit longer of a video to watch, but you know, it's uh, nice to sort of see. Got the TV here with the map. So we have one last uh, cruise. Here we are in New Orleans today. We're going to do a four day cruise to Cozumel. We're going to drop off the guests. And then we're going to head empty to Spain, to Cadiz, Spain for the full dry dock and transformation they're calling it a transformation of the ship so we'll just walk through this last part and uh so yeah this is the stage right here where the band plays which is normally in the back lounge or sometimes they're on the deck four uh i don't know what the deck four lounge here is called it's normally the cigar bar on a lot of ships so yeah we'll just walk through i'm gonna just jump off the carpet because these guys are working tirelessly before the guests come on so, yeah, so thanks for watching the video everybody if you get a chance to uh, check out some of the other videos all of the different carnival triumph bars and lounges are already online on this channel in a playlist so it might be worth checking those out if you want to see there we go you're going to be famous check out the channel so yeah um yeah, each of the main areas of the, that we've walked through there have got a separate video entirely. So you could check those out pretty cool, pretty well. So here we go. I think he's uh, measuring up for the arcade, I wonder. Or he's come to take one Italian tile as a souvenir for you for the eBay. I'm going to sell all these tiles on eBay if you need one. So Really? I'm going to make a fortune. <laughs> yeah. So yes, I hope you've liked the walk around. I like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. We've got a lot of videos on board the Carnival Sunrise and currently Triumph. We're gonna end the video here with whoever Tim Rushlow is. He's won a lot of awards and he sold 11 million records. He's probably not sold any CDs though. So only the records he sold. So yeah, thanks for watching. I like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel on Carnival Triumph Promenade Deck. Bye everybody.